What's up everybody? Welcome to my IGTV and today we're gonna get into a little story um, on inside the mind of fiction. This is just about honestly why I hate giving up, uh, why I don't give up and yeah it's just it's hard for me to like I give up on things like I let things go that need to be let go but like oh man when it comes to like if I gotta over go through something or like you know overcome something like my like my traumas or just bad things that happen to me like yo giving up is just it's just in me to not do it because I just it's because of this little story I'm about to tell you here we go so um it all started with a boy and his mother and they used to play board games and um <laughs> so basically um this all started let me just be serious here sorry a little more serious so when I was younger um, my mom, I'm gonna go visit my mom because some of you guys don't know, but my mom and dad, I grew up in separate home, whatever, it's cool. We're not talking about that. That'd be another time. Anyway, uh, when I would go visit my mom for the summers and stuff, um, we would go, we would play board games, um, battleship, checkers, chess, uh, you name it, we played it. She would kick my butt. Let's just say that. Um, number one, she didn't take it easy on me, which you could think is kind of mean or whatever. Um, in the, in the long run, grand scheme of things, I'm so happy that she didn't because now, even back then when I would when I would finally beat her, ooh, it felt so good, but I'm skipping ahead. So um, we would play board games and she used to kick my boot hay. And I used to be very mad and get very upset to the point where eventually I just knew she was gonna win at some part of the game because it was a pattern at this point. Like once, you know, she started getting her little smirk on and blah, blah, I'm like, oh, she's, and my pieces are all gone. Like she's gonna win. So I would cry, uh, I would get mad. Um, I would wanna give up and quit. And let's just say none of those things set well with her, and I'm so happy they didn't. Um, so if I if I was crying, first of all, she's like, boy, what you crying for? I can give you something to cry about, boom. And some of us, we know what that means, so you know, you gotta shut up. Um, number two, um, she didn't let me quit. And I think that is, this is where like the most important thing, part of the story is and what it's about, because she forced me to play the game, whether I was winning or losing, all the way through. Now, at first, I'm just like, yo, I'm thinking like, dang, mom, that's so messed up. Like, you're making me play a game I know I'm gonna lose. Like, that's just wrong, you know? Um, but by doing that, I had to sit there, I had to learn, I had to study. Because again, I'm tired of losing. Like, I, I had, I'm, I don't like feeling like I, like I'm bad. So it's like, okay, we're gonna, we gotta get better. We gotta beat her. So now that I've been forced to play this game continuously, I'm finding like, wait, there's chinks in her armor. Like, and before you know it, I start getting me some dubs. And then I start doing my little dancey dance. Hey, um, and oh man, it was just the best feeling ever to beat, you know, the unbeatable. And you know, what's funny is that that, that small part of my life has been so important to me in every aspect of my life um, overall. And I think that's exactly why um, when I meet obstacles or bump into obstacles that seem unbreakable, unbearable, or not unbearable, sometimes actually, yeah, unbearable um, and just impossible to overcome, I tell myself there's no way because I've experienced this before too many times um, with my mom, like her kicking my butt and me thinking she was just the best at everything. And I'm like, there's there's no way, like I have, there has to be a way to win. Um, and in life, a lot of times things get thrown at us. Um, you know, we feel like we can't overcome something and it feels impossible, but you can. And and that just for me is, is I think why I, I choose to tackle my problems and tackle my issues and know that I can overcome them no matter how hard or crazy or difficult they may be um, because of that lesson that my mom taught me as a kid playing board games. Like, how crazy is that? Um, one thing you'll come to learn about my IGTV videos, especially when it comes to like, you know, inside the mind of fiction, these segments, I take the smallest of things and I think pretty deep into them. And like, I'm, I've often thought about where I get, again, my resolve to like, you know, not give up and not quit. And it comes from that experience for me as a kid. Um, and I have to thank my mom for that. Like I said, uh, she was like, we don't, we don't quit. That's not what we do. We're not quitters. Like you sit there, you play the game all the way through, no matter what. Like, could you imagine if she let me quit every time, like that I, you know, just felt I was gonna lose. Imagine how many times people may go through life and just give up without seeing it through to learn the lesson that life is trying to teach you or give you so that then you can be better later to overcome it. Like, 
Oh, it's crazy. And and um, I'm hoping that me sharing this story and sharing this insight, insight with you, uh, you know, maybe unlocks a key or helps you think a certain way about just an option you have in life. Like, I think sometimes we choose to run away from things that we think are impossible and we shouldn't. I think sometimes we should we should find out how to get it done, how to move past it, how to overcome it, because there's always a way. I believe there's always a way. And that's where my belief comes from. Um, like I said, when you get your butt kicked like a thousand times in a row, you know, you stop stop thinking it's possible to win, you know. Um, but then when you win, you're like, oh, uh, that's what I needed to do. Got it. Now we're in here. Boom. Motivated. Bang, 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 bang. Now I pretty much beat her in everything. So, you know, <laughs> there's that. Um, no, she'll still give me in a couple games. But uh, I always want to say thank you so much for joining my IGTV. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope this... Uh, helped in some way shape or form thanks for you know listening to inside the mind of fiction feel free to comment your thoughts in the you know comment section on how you feel about my story or if it helped you didn't help you um you know open conversation um very open guy so um i love open talks and conversations and yeah thank you so much and i will see you guys next time guys Stay in touch with home base. That's all I want to say. Stay in touch with home base. Um, wherever you are from, whatever you know you grew up as or in, whatever makes you who you are, stay in touch with that. Do not stray too far away from it because at some point you just you think you don't need it. You think you know you're you've outgrown it. You think that there's no reason to look back and you know to like live in your past, but you shouldn't live in your past, but but you should always check in to home base. Perfect example, I am in Wichita, Kansas right now. I came to visit, um, surprise my mom and see family. And um, yo, I went to church, a church I grew up in as a kid and I just started crying, yo, like out of nowhere. It's in the middle of, you know, the preacher talking, like I just started crying. And, I, and it wasn't that I was sad, like it, it felt, like a feeling of so much comfort that I could that I could cry. I don't know if you guys know too much about me as far as when it comes to tears, but I don't like to cry. I don't like crying at all. But something about being home, yo, know, just brought tears to my eyes, like out of nowhere, out of nowhere. And that's just what I feel like I should be talking about today. It's just it's just sticking to home base. I don't care if you know, it's just something you're embarrassed about. I don't care if it's something that you feel like, um, you know, you don't want to look at as like a good thing or like wherever you're from, whatever your home is, it makes you you. Never be ashamed of who you are. And that's just the feelings I'm feeling is like, yo, as much as I, as much as I'm tough, you know, and I can, I can take the backlash of things and like take people talking mess or, you know, whatever. There are parts of me that still needs to check myself and be like, yo, let's check back with home base. And I'm so happy I did that uh, today and on this trip. Um, so yeah, if anyone needs to hear this message, understand the importance of where you come from because that's the only way you're gonna really know where you're going. And if you feel lost, if you feel like you don't know, you know, your next move or you feel like you've been doing the same thing over and over and over and it's like, you just can't seem to figure out what's to find something fresh in your life. Touch base, touch base with home base. I think it's so important. Saying it and experiencing it is two different things. Like what I experienced today, feeling it felt amazing. At first it was kind of scary. Like why am I just crying in front of people randomly? But yo, it's so important and it felt so good. And that's the message I just wanted to give you guys today. Don't be afraid of where you come from. Don't be ashamed to go back and live and breathe and what makes you you. Be a better you every day, but, but never lose touch on who you are and where you came from. What is up, IGTV? I want to continue something I talked about before about like touching in with home base. Um, and I just kind of want to give a part two to that, which is never be ashamed of where you come from. Um, I'm speaking to you and I'm speaking to me <laughs> as I say this. You know, no matter how small the city, the town, no matter how messed up your circumstances, 
no matter how, you know, whatever trauma you've gone through, like at home and whatnot, like never be afraid and ashamed of where you come from because there is something beautiful about overcoming any type of misfortune you may have had or may have came from. And it's such appreciation that comes from circumstances that, you know, weren't maybe the best. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't have a terrible home or anything, but like my situation, you know, just growing up in a separate home, separate parents, um, you know, small house, country, nobody, you know, no one's rich, struggling, you know, sometimes, you know, figuring out, <laughs> you know, how uh, you got to eat the cheap stuff. Like you just, you really can appreciate like your future and where you're going. Like when you accept and don't be ashamed of where you come from, man, I swear. And I just want to say to anyone who has or has been through or feels like they come from a past that defines them and it, and it may, and they want to make that the reason why they can't overcome it or can't succeed or whatnot. Um, no, don't, don't let it hold you down, but, but at the same time, don't be ashamed of it. You know, like don't be ashamed of your skeletons. Don't be ashamed of your, uh, just bad things overall that you, you know, may have went through in the past or, you know, whatnot. It's, it's something that we learn from and we become better people from and we should strive to do that. And sometimes when we completely block out, we disregard what we went through or where we grew up or how we grew up or our situations. Um, it's, it's hard to really find appreciation in life and to grow and to find, you know, something that's, that's fulfilling in this world because we try so hard to reject our past or our, you know, our traumas or our situations and man like the way this world is built it's just it's it sucks that we have to not everybody can just have the perfect life not everybody can just be happy all the time that everybody can have everything they ever wanted at first but i do believe it is always there for us to have and to work hard to get those things to to grow from from nothing oh it just it means the world and the satisfaction is amazing um, so again, like I said, don't be ashamed of where you come from. Don't be ashamed of your circumstances. Don't be ashamed of your past. Accept it. Understand that it makes you who you are and, and you continue to be a better you, how you, how you want to be. Um, be who you want to be and don't let your past define that. Um, but also don't reject it to the point where, you know, you lose what makes you you. Bad experiences can, can make you a better person because you learn from them no matter what they are. And um, that's just how I feel about that. But yeah, I'm done. Adios.